Hello Chabellinos, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are new to my channel, I really hope you consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell because I am so close to 10k and at 10k we're going to do a little surprise for you guys. I've, I literally have the item and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the 10k and if you guys don't follow me on my other platforms on social media I have Instagram at underscore hello Harley where I can post quick little stories and my outfit photos in case you guys want any sort of outfit inspo and on TikTok I post really quick videos there as well it's not just Aritzia based videos on TikTok TikTok is like my fun place where I post like shop with me's like I do Costco shopping soft mock warehouse shopping tons of videos tons of foodie videos as well it's tons of Harley videos too if you're new to my channel Harley is my dog which is why our channel's name's hello Harley but yeah if you guys could give me a follow there too and I welcome you guys into the Chubbolino crew without further ado let's get into today's video so if you watched my last haul then you would have seen that I purchased some new effortless pants and I did purchase effortless crepe shorts as well so today's video is an Aritzia basic the series is good for new Aritzia followers who are like getting into developing their Aritzia wardrobe or for people like me who have been shopping there for eons and just aren't sure like just aren't completely sure about an item so the Wilfred effortless pants actually had its huge blow up moment like the Molinas in about like I'd say it was like fall 2021 it like really blew up they were impossible to get a hold of but now it's since died down I think everyone was able to get a pair everyone that was like on the hunt for it was able to get a pair so now they are really readily accessible they cost $148 Canadian the price may vary depending on where you live but I live in Canada so they are $148 they come in two different styles, so there is a cropped variation, which I don't own, but I will show you a clip here. And then they come in a regular length, and the regular length within that realm has three different lengths. There is the short, which is good for people who are under 5'3", there is the regular length, which is good for people from 5'4 to 5'7", and then there is a tall variation, which is good for people who are above 5'7". So that's really good because there are so many height differences, and obviously if you were 5'3 and under, you wouldn't want to wear the regular length because they are so completely tall. But maybe you don't like the cropped variation either because I feel like the cropped variation looks like culottes, not necessarily the uh, Ritzia Wilfred effortless pant. So it's really nice that they have the different lengths for obviously the different heights. Now within the fabrics, there's a ton of fabrics. So the main one is crepette. They also have hold suiting, textured suiting, and linen. And within the pants, I own the regular length and the short length. So I have two lengths for myself. Originally, I bought the short length because I am 5'4", so I don't necessarily think the short length is only for people 5'3 and under. That's just the suggested height that they put on their website. But I'm 5'4", and I will show you guys what they look like on. Short length fits me really well. It's like a perfect pant for me. However, I ended up buying a new pair in the regular length because I really like that really baggy look that the effortless pants gives you in the regular length. When I wear a chunkier shoe, that gives me a little bit more of a height. It's fine and that way I'm not dragging them around. And I usually do have like a chunky dad sneaker on. I only need like a, a, an inch of height to make sure that those pants aren't like dragging across the floor. Cause obviously if you start dragging across the floor then it's gonna ruin the back of the pants and whatnot, so. And I also like the really put together look that the short length gives me as well. Now back then when I bought the short length, I bought it in a size six, but now I've since gained a bit of weight. So the six is a bit snug on me and it's not 100% comfortable because the waist to crotch ratio for me is really, really tight. Obviously they sit a bit higher because my waist is higher up. And then because they sit a bit higher, the pants in turn really like 
is like lifted so it's lifting everything and then that way it's really giving me a front camel toe which is not the most comfortable. I bought them in the size 8 in the regular length just to give me variation. My weight fluctuates all the time so I could potentially go back down to the size 6 but I really like that I have a pair of size 8. If you're looking for a different variation because you don't like the way effortless pants look on you and you don't like the way effortless pants feels on you, completely understand. I I do have an entire video trying on different types of work pants and my biggest recommendation is if you don't like the way that the effortless pants feels the dashwood are such a good option they have a elastic in the back and they are so stretchy and so comfortable like I really need to pick up a pair myself all right let's go through the effortless pants and what what it entails so these are my white pair in the regular length. They are not stretchy at all. So once again, if you're looking for a pant that can give you a bit of give, these are not it. They are very, very, very structured. Like you can see the band is like sewn up. They are so structured. So in the front, there are two pockets on the side, one on each side here, which is really nice. And then in the back, there are pockets as well. Mine are sewn up because I just left them sewn up, but you can undo the seams you just have to be very careful I usually take like a little scissor and then as soon as you do undo like one thread you can rip them open and then the pockets in the back are usable as well since we're back here I will show you guys there is two darts on the back here which gives the butt a nice lift in the front you can see that there is pleating as well so pleating here and pleating here they're just really s slight pleats which is really nice it gives the very nice flowy illusion. The clasp is an eyelet clasp, so you can see it just opens up and closes this way. That's pretty much the standard for like work pants. And then there is a button as well to keep it in place and then a zip closure. As you can see. These pants do have belt loops, so if you are a person who loves to wear belts or you want to break up your outfit a little bit more, there are belt loops. Of course, you don't have to use the belt loops, but it's really nice to have that option. You can see this is the crepe material, so there is a pressed pleat all the way down. When you wash them, you kind of have to press that back in, so... Um, it, it can disappear over time. But what's really nice about this crepe at fabric is that it's so easy like it doesn't wrinkle very much and they still look good after being bunched up or like you know when you're walking around and you're sitting and standing constantly what's really nice about the crepe at is that they do not wrinkle all that much of course if you go with linen or one of their more textured um cotton materials then you can get wrinkling especially in the crotch area but if you're someone who really hates wrinkling like that I would really suggest grabbing them in the crepe hat because they don't give you that wrinkling effect all that much. My tip for you in terms of sizing is I would probably size up just because of how structured they are. So I do own two pairs in a size 6 but once again I was a little bit smaller back when I bought them then. I have since bought them in a size 8 and honestly I could have probably went to a size 10 just because they are so structured and I really like that baggy look to them so the size 8 fits me fine but the size 10 would have gave me like enough give on both sides to be really really baggy. My only concern with that is that I didn't want because they are a full length pant to be dragged down because of the whole weight of the pant so I didn't want it to like constantly drag down and not sit as high up as it can. Um, I really like that like my waist is quite high up so I really like when the pants are sitting a little bit higher up but of course if you go down a size and your pants sit high up you're gonna get that camel toe because the pants just need to like they're trying to fit you if that makes any sense here is the short length on me so it's the one for five three and under they fit me perfectly as you guys can see this is what they look like on me if I wore a shoe with a bit of a heel so it's really not that much of a heel maybe it's like a two inch one and a half inch 
So that's what the six looks like. This is the effortless regular length on me. And I'm 5'4 once again. You can see... You can see that they are slightly touching the floor. But if I put on a pair of shoes that has a bit of a heel, then they fit just perfectly. Love how baggy they look. I think that's really cute. This is the size 6 in the regular length on me. I just wanted to show you guys the difference. You can see that they are tighter and there is a bit of like pulling here at my tummy area. Sorry, don't mind my period undies. Um, I have on but you can see it's a little bit more pulling. I still think they look fine especially if I'm not on my period and I'm not wearing these thick period underwear but um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys the differences and I'm sorry that you can see the shorts underneath but that's just the differences and once again the, the um, height if I put on the heels they fit me much better. I do also want to mention that these were manufactured before the black pair in the regular because they these were purchased in 2021. So there might be slight differences in manufacturing. The Effortless Shorts variety comes in three different textiles at the moment. There's crepette, linen, and vegan leather. They retail for $98 Canadian, and then there are three different lengths as well. So there is a 3 inch, a 5 inch, and a 7 inch. I own the linen variation and the crepe variation. Um, both of these styles I definitely sized up to a 10. The ratio between once again my waist to my crotch it was just too tight for the 8. The waist fit me but it was pulling the pants up and then giving me a front wedgie and I once again that is so uncomfortable so nobody wants to walk around feeling like that. So I sized up to a 10. 10 is big on me. It is super baggy on me but I actually think they because they're so structured, they sit on me perfectly. And because there's not like a whole leg of fabric to worry about, they're not dragging me down. That's my main reason why I didn't go to a size 10 in the effortless pants, because if I did have that extra fabric or room at the waist, then the whole pant, because of the fabric of the leg, would drag everything down and then that way it's not sitting as high up as I'd like. I love my stuff sitting really high up I love a really high-waisted pant, so this is just a personal preference once again. I think my friend Alex actually sized up, so they sit like lower down on her, but personally I just like how the high waist looks on my body frame. My body is really like, like my waist is my smallest area, so if I have pants that sit at my waist, I look a lot slimmer and obviously I want to work with my body shape. So that's why, that's the only reason why with the pants I went with the 8. Um, I definitely could have sized up to a 10 just to give myself a little bit more room. But with the shorts, I 100% had to size up to a 10 because they were just so uncomfortable in the 8. And I just, I would never wear them if I got them in the 8 because of the pinching. It was just not good. It's really important to try them on if you can. I know online shopping is like so much easier so then you would just order your regular size most likely but um, if you're gonna take anything away from it with sizing is that in the pants version I would definitely I can I think definitely do your regular size or size up and then in the shorts I would 100% size up. I think one of the subbies mentioned to me that there is a whole like reddit forum about the effortless pants and how the black ones fit differently. I didn't look for it myself because I already have them so I wasn't like too curious on what's going on there but um, I think maybe that is a good resource for you if you need to look at any reviews or anything like that. Here are the linen shorts on me. You can just see like there's a lot of room in the 10 for me but it also just feels so much better in the 10. They just sit so well and I wasn't getting this pulling motion that I was getting with the 8. So they're really comfy. I like how much like I like the room and because they are structured they don't really feel all that baggy if that makes any sense. So this is the 5 inch version on me. Here are the 5 inch crepe version. Of course you can see they have tags on them because I just bought them. But once again, they're, there's a lot of room for me to expand. But because they are so like 
solid. I feel like they fit me quite well. It's like almost perfect, if anything. If I went like too tight, they like scrunch here and then I feel the digging at the band. So I really like that. I got them in a size 10. They fit so well. All right, guys, that is it for today's Aritzia Basics Wilfred Effortless Pants video. I hope that answered or helped you decide on how to navigate shopping for them. If you guys have any other questions, then definitely leave them in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!